Longtown is not like other places. Okay. And it's just amazing to look at, you know, where we are now and to think that there were once nearly 900 people living here. It's something special because it was settled by pioneer African Americans. My fifth great grandfather was considered the first African American to buy land in this county. He established a school, integrated. It was a one room school. When I was in first grade, the whole school, there was eight rows and eight grades. Eight grades in that little, little school. A church that became integrated and also helped establish a manual labor school that was also integrated and not only integrated but open to both males and females. Really small. There used to be a couple stores up here, filling station, a couple churches. My grandpa's sister, Sissy. We've lived here as a mixed race community for nearly 200 years and we've made it work. This is my family. We are collectively a population of Native American, African American, and European blood. And the word color kind of encompasses all three of those ethnicities, and that's what I would like to, to be called. This farmstead is the home of my fifth great grandparents, James and Sophia Clemens. It's believed that this home was built in, in around 1850, and along with the barn also. And supposedly, there's also a, a tunnel from the house to the barn because it couldn't provide work, our people moved to the cities where they could find work. For that reason, the town did sort of decline and has since then. A lot of times, African-American history isn't seen as American history. However, it is. And losing Longtown would be losing just a vital piece of history. This is on the National Register of Historic Places. I like to think of it as it's saved. We've kind of acknowledged that it's a place of importance and we're on the road to further saving what we have left. I hope you know a lot about your dad's family. I was drawn to Wright State because of the diversity and my major being international studies is kind of tailored towards working with the diverse population that, that is at Wright State and that is makes up the world today. The past matters, should matter to somebody our age because it's so empowering so empowering to know where you come from, who you come from. Knowing the past and understanding what happened and, and what worked and what didn't sort of gives you a, an advantage in, in knowing what, what can and what can't work today.